Hello and welcome back to What Time? Will Oak Tech Time. My name is Paul Marriott and in today's episode, which is another in the Three Ways 2 series, we're going to have a look at uh, a question that's asked quite often in the forums, in the groups over on Facebook. Uh, how do I get a file onto or off the shield? So with all that being said, let's get stuck in! What time? Will Oak take time? Just to clarify, this isn't just for Shield TV owners. Um, this can be used on almost any Android box. So, and in our demonstrations, the three demonstrations that we're going to do, we're going to be doing it with a folder, though you can easily apply this if it's just an individual file that you want to move over. And in this video, on the Shield at least, we'll be using the Explore file manager, which in my opinion is way better than the ES file manager that a lot of people are using. Uh, Explore File Manager is available on the Google Play Store and all good hardware stores near you. Okay, that last part's not quite true. Okay, the first method is using a USB stick or a hot portable hard drive. We plug it into a computer and uh, comes the measure, there it is, USB stick plugged in. And the folder that we're going to be copying over for this demonstration is called 000 Transfer Test. We copy that and go over to the USB stick and paste it in there, that's done. Okay, with that we're going to move over to the shield and on the shield we're going to come down and open up the Ex Explore File Ex Manager. Okay, that's opened up and there's a message from ES File Explorer. That comes up every time we plug something in. Okay, cancel that. Right, so we're going to cut we see there on the we have the USB stick and there's the file that we've got on the folder that we've got on there that we want to transfer across so we want to copy it across to the the main storage drive on our shield okay so in explore we've we've selected where we want to copy it to we go back to the the folder that we want to copy and we long press on that and and press copy when we press copy we'll get a pop-up and this just confirms where we're copying it to we say OK and boom 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 bish bash bosh done shield we can see that it's been copied and all those files are in there OK there's one of the files that we've copied over that's uh, that's my desktop uh, background image OK done so now we'll come out of there escape out back to the shield home screen or your Android box home screen and then we're going to go back over to our PC on our PC we're going to open up a browser window and we're going to search for uh, sendanywhere.com send-anywhere.com you can either search for it uh, adding the word download or you can go to the, the address that you see there once you're on that page and Download the version that you need for your operating system, whether it be Windows, Mac or Linux. I use Linux. So once downloaded, install it on your PC and then you're going to need to install the APK on your shield box. Go over to the Google Play Store and look for Send Anywhere. Download it, install it and then you're good to go. Next stage is open up the program you just installed to send anywhere and from a file explorer you're going to drag the folder in our case the folder over to send anywhere and drop it in there you'll get a warning message about copying copyrighted material uh, which you say okay to and make a note of the code that it's giving you because uh, you're then going to need that over on your android box okay so you've jotted down the number you go over to your your shield or your Android box and there and there in send anywhere you go click on receive files it'll ask you to put in the code that you just jotted down which of course was 7174 press OK and boom 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 bish bash bosh that folder will show up inside the folder that we copied over earlier on 
from our USB stick. OK, moving on to method three, the third way to transfer files. Now, I'm going to show you first how to do this in Linux Mint 19, Linux. Um, and then I'll show you how to do it in Windows. So in Linux, you're going to go to a file manager, go to the home screen, and then whichever folders you want to share, and assuming it's the first time you do this, right click and select sharing options and you'll be asked to install Samba server so click on install you'll be asked to put in the super user or administrator's password put that in press install and then you got that dialog, press install. Some dependencies will need to be installed and that will take a few few seconds whilst that's installing. And there it is, done. Now you can see there's a message there to reboot your desktop. Which you will do, you close that down and reboot. When you're back in again, um, you're going to open up the file explorer, decide which which folders you're going to share, uh, right click on one, go to sharing options, click share this folder, and then the other two boxes allow others to create and delete files in this folder, guest access for people without a user account, boom, and then you go and create share, at which point you'll be prompted the message asking you to add the permissions automatically which it will do whilst you're at it do us a favor subscribe to the channel thank you next we'll go and have a look at windows select the folder that you want to share come down to sh file sharing uh, properties sorry and then sharing and then you're going to go into sharing at the top there first thing you're going to do is to add guest and add and then you're going to add make the permissions read and write as well then we're going to add another one guests which is a group and we add that do the same read and write permissions for that click on share okay the next stage the next stage is to go to advanced settings and then we're going to you can add a name to it if you want to Ch change the name to something more recognizable for the um, for your guests do that as you will Give it a description and OK. The next thing you're going to do is to come down and here we're going to make everything read and write, give them full privileges. to add again and here we're going to put in guest like we did before I'm not sure how many of these stages are actually necessary but I do them all and it works so here we're going to type in guest check name and then that's good okay and then add another one and here we do guests which as I say is a group check name OK and just have a quick look at advance there's nothing nothing to see there OK and OK and then for both of those that we've just added give them in full read and write privileges OK then we're going to 
then we're going to apply that and then OK apply that and click OK and then we come out of there having OK'd everything and that's all done OK good idea to uncheck that last second to last uh, box there do that I didn't you should really okay so we're good on everything there and cancel out of there going back over to the shield <coughs> we're going to come down and go into explore again and then once in explore we're going to uh, go to the land server part add a server and there we can see the Windows box and clicking onto that Windows box it's we see the folder that we've just given permission to. Moving back over to Linux and we're going to do the same thing there look at the folder, the folder that we have permission to access scans the Linux box uh, over there I've got a lot more shared so it takes a little bit longer to scan it and there's our transfer test and that's got um, and this time we're going to copy that folder over to the shield again nesting it inside the other folders that we've already transferred so we click on copy see where it's going to click OK and that uh, will take a few seconds whilst all of that is transferred over once that's done we put it all over there so looking over there we can see that uh, we've got nested folders in there with which we're now going to copy back over so we can copy from the shield back to the PC here we go and we click OK on that so this time we're actually transferring a whole bunch of data, about 300 megabytes, and that will take um, 20 seconds or so on my network. Uh, might go faster on yours if you have a gigabit LAN. Mine's only 100 megabit LAN. Okay, so that's all copied over, and we can see all of that uh, nested into our Linux folder. Going back to the PC, just open up that uh, folder and we see a file, a folder within the folder, another folder within the folder, and another folder within that. Whew. There we have it. Properties, and as you can see, there's a fair bit in there. Okay, one last little thing that you can also do, which is not file transfer, but what you can do, is actually install apps from your PC by accessing the LAN again. And we're going to go this time. We're going to go to a folder which is where I've stored some APKs on my Linux box, and we're going to install the Virus Total app, which is a particularly recommended app use it to scan everything that you put onto your shield there you go transfers it across and at the same time opens it up and gives you the install option so we install it and that will take a few seconds and then once it's installed it's ready to open or just click on done and there you have it if you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe. And of course, bash that bell to get notifications of when we next produce a video. Thank you. See you next time.